All right, welcome to another Consecrated Sphinx draft on Magic Online. And uh, that's our pick. There you go. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. I think this card is so far above any other card in the cube. Like, I mean, so far above most cards in the cube. This card is like god tier, and everything else is just like, I guess this is good. I guess this is okay. I'll play this, sure. This one's a good one, too. I I like the old Consecrated Sphinx into Cryptic Command. That really puts me where I want to be, I think. There is a Karn, which is very strong. But I think Cryptic Command's actually better here. <laughs> I mean, Big Daddy, I like I like a 5-mana Obnixilus a lot, actually. Drawing cards and killing creatures is very valuable. However, it ain't no Consecrated Sphinx, buddy. I'm going to take this Cryptic Command. Because I'm always, re I always get the cryptic command real late, and I'm always reluctant to take it. But now it's like the perfect time to take it, so I'm gonna take it. Brandon, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is awesome, dude. Thank you, buddy. You are good people, my friend. It's either remand or sower here. You think you think sword of war and peace is the best sword? I think there's two other swords above it, but body and mind is my top sword. And I like Fire and Ice better. You don't think Sower is the better pick? I like Sower better than Sword. I actually like Remand, too. Maybe I just want the Remand. I'm going to take the Remand. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Oh, this is so hard. I didn't take the remand. I think Sower's just a stronger card. I like Sulphur Falls. Dungeon Geist? Mm. If we stay on blue, it's Dungeon Geist. If we don't, it's Sulphur Falls. I think it's Sulphur Falls. I don't think I care about this guy enough to take it over a fixing land that we might be in. Yeah, we'll just take this. Maybe we're Grixis. Frost Titan. This is actually... I think this is one of the better Titans. It doesn't do as fancy of things as like Primeval Titan or Sun Titan, but it just wins games. This is a late Crater Hoof Behemoth as well. I'm going to take this Frost Titan. Do we do it? Do we keep trying? We can take Glorybringer here. Maybe be Blue-Red. Glorybringer is probably as good as Gisela, I think. If not better. And if we're taking a red card, I think it's better than these two. I think this I think Glorybringer is better than the white. It's it's at least as good as the white cards in this pack, and we have a, a blue red fixing land. I'm gonna take the Glorybringer. Yeah, this chicken's not bad. I also don't hate Elder Deep Fiend. Hmm. Could take Glacial Fortress. I think Glacial Fortress might be better than the other cards. And it lets us play three colors if we want to. Which we never do. We can also sacrifice one of their guys to emerge, which is pretty good. I'm going to take the Elder Deep Fiend, actually. I think that's just a really good card. Dragon Skull Summit? Grixis? Okay. Okay. What up, RPG Badger? Bloodstain Mire. All right, look at all this fixing we're taking. Everyone's going to be so happy in the, in the YouTube comments. You guys are going to love it. You're going to love the way I fix. I guarantee it. I actually like Manic Vandal a lot. He does good things. He's a hard worker. Oh, Monsonster. We have a good time.
Actually, you're going in the deck. I don't know why you're in the sideboard. I'll take Exquisite Firecraft, sure. I actually took the... Um, I took the Manic Vandal because I was looking at Elder Deep Fiend, and I think it's actually a reasonable card to main board. Main deck, main deck in this format. And being able to sacrifice it to Elder Deep Fiend is pretty good. Ooh, Stormbreath Dragon. Okay. What? Come on. Have some respect. This guy's actually very good. I would play this guy. I would play this guy too. Wow. Okay. The red cards are extremely under underappreciated here. Ah, wait. Oh, we can also sacrifice Rekindling Phoenix to Elder Deep Fiend and get the token back and then just get the, re get the Phoenix back. That's pretty gas. To the chicken zone. I don't have a reason not to play these in the main deck right now, so. Boros Reckoner. Drowned Catacomb. Scalding Tarn has to be the pick here, even though there's a dismiss and a mole drifter, right? Tell me it's Scalding Tarn, guys. <laughs> Tell me it's the Tarn. Okay. Oh god, I'm it's I'm taking Tarn. Get rewarded. Gollum two fifty nine with a resub. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. Preach. It's just this guy, right? Like, we're getting rewarded, right? What up, Nicole? Oh, this guy too, huh? Okay. Okay. Money for nothing in the truth, my friend. I want my MTV. Pretty sure it's Ponder, right? What up, Matt? Custom kitchen delivery. Got to move these refrigerators. Got to move these color TVs. I like a disallow a lot. It's not cough. Don't you guys say it's cough? I do like steam vents. It might be steam vents. Steam vents with tarn and bloodstain mire seems pretty good. What up, so salty? I don't know where Mike is. I am not his keeper. Yeah, we'll just take the vents. Disallow is good, but it's a counter spell. It's a whatever. Oh, I like Scarab got a lot here. I like it better than Rakdos's return. I like it better than Persecutor or Bonfire. Yeah, we're going to take Scarab God. Look at all this fixing we have, guys. You guys are so proud of me, I bet. So proud. Like proud papas. Into the Royal? I think it's just into the Royal here. Negate's actually pretty good. I think Negate is surprisingly strong in this cube. So salty, I've been actually trying to stream earlier in the afternoons for people uh, not in the U.S. <laughs> so, glad that's working. Um, 
Could take Kiki Jiki and try to pick up a uh, a cutie, a little a little Exarch or Pestermite cutie. I think this is actually stronger than our other options, so I'm gonna take that. Oh boy, well, that's interesting. I feel like we just have to take that, right? And then we just keep hedging, right? Dark Dwellers is good, but we actually don't even have many targets for Dark Dwellers at this point. I'm just gonna take the Splinter Twin. Keep our fingers crossed. I hope it's Splinter Win. I hope you're right. We can also just, you know, put on a Glorybringer and just make Glorybringers every turn and, and shoot things. That's cool. Ralzaric, maybe? It's not terrible. It might be better than Red Cap. I'm going to take the Ralzaric. It's a Planeswalker. The Drowned Catacomb came back. That's pretty nice. Because, you know, all that fixing. Ooh, I like part the Water Veil a lot, actually. Deal. Team Work and Lurk. I love it. I love it. It's probably the best name ever. I'm just going to take Hellrider here. Eh, I'll take Stoke. Stoke is actually removal. We're probably going to play Stoke over. Eh, Torch Fiend's actually fine. I'll take Old Man. We already have a Manic Vandal, so. My god, you guys are going to be so, you guys are, you guys on YouTube are going to be so thrilled with all this fixing, I can't wait. All I need is a black fetch land to get with like Bloodstained Mire or uh, Steam Vents. I would love to do some more Prey. I don't know why we haven't. I think I just got distracted. I had a trip to New York. I had a trip to things, and I had to do things. And they all started on Friday, so I was gone. And Let's take Bonfire. Oh, the Negate came back. Pretty good. Uh, I don't even hate Read the Bones here. I don't see us playing it, but I don't hate it. It's just Snapcaster here. We don't have great targets for it, but Snapcastering a Cryptic Command is good. We also have Cyclonic Rift. Is it possible to complete Grand Theft Auto? Like, that game seems like it's just not completable. If you started streaming and singing songs about the copycat, about, about, uh, about the cards you play, I would not think you're a copycat. I would actually, um... I would actually consider it the most sincere form of flattery, which is imitation. I think it's actually Cyclonic Rift. Cyclonic Rift is like a reset button when you have seven mana. Whereas we're not even like close to having the the requisite like Snapcaster cards. We have like Ponder and three drops. We just don't have anything to Snapcaster here right now. Like let's look at our Snapcaster cards. We have Part the Water Veil, which actually gets exiled, so we don't have that. We have Cryptic Command, Read the Bones, maybe, and Exquisite Firecraft. That's, this is pretty much it. Uh, instead of the double black card, because we're only splashing black, except for Nicol Bolas, obviously, which is eight mana, I'm pretty sure it's Karanos, or sort of Body and Mind. I like Karanos a lot. We have to consider we might not play Kiki Jiki or Splinter Twin yet. Like, these can go on the sideboard for now. So, we actually have more leeway on our 5 drop. I don't think we need the fixing now. We have 6 six lands. I think we're just going to take Karanos because it's actually very strong. Treachery is also very strong. I'm going to take a Treachery here. What up, Jacob? Kayford, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, we're just going to take that Treachery. I don't think this is even close. I, I wouldn't mind taking a Doomblade here, but... I don't think that's a real close pick, to be quite honest with you. Kaiga's good. Bone Shredder is nice. I don't actually think we need more Kaiga effects. We have uh, Treachery, we have Sower, we have Frost Titan. I'm just going to take the Bone Shredder. This is a nice little tiny guy that kills other tiny guys. Or big guys. Kills everybody. 
Wow, this is a pack. As usual, I just feel like it's Umazawa's Jitte, especially with a Ravel Master. Boots it ahead. What's going on, buddy? My weekend was pretty all right. No complaints. Chris, glad to hear it. I actually deliberately put you at the top of my auto host list because I figured you'd appreciate it the most. Um, so I'm glad to hear that that's actually doing a thing. We are not an upheaval deck, unfortunately, but the card is good. Are you just like a necromancy? Can you take necromancy just to, just to take it? Uh, you cannot copy Ka Kaigo with Kiki Jiki. It is non-legendary creatures. So that will never work. Uh, I have no plans to hit any tournaments. Tournaments are exhausting and I don't actually enjoy them that much. And that's, that makes me feel really old. But like, unless I have a specific reason to go, like a concert or a movie or cool dinner plans, like that's much more fun to me than just playing 10 rounds of Magic. I actually don't hate a free. But like, I say this all the time, but like booking a flight for an event, registering for the event, booking a hotel for the event, getting there fr late Friday night, Find scouring for a place to eat, waking up super early, playing nine rounds, hoping you find something to eat that isn't a convention center hot dog for $15, going to sleep early to get up early again the next day. Like, that's all super exhausting to me. Like, and by exhausting, I just mean like not fun and I'd rather be doing other things, especially because of the cost. Like, the cost is not nothing. I like obstructionist, I also like terminate here. I think it's just terminate. Like, having a two-mana removal spell this good is pretty good. Wow, this is a lot of cards that I would take. Icefall Regent's fine. Kokusho is fine. Stone is fine. Profane. I think it's just Wandering Fumeral here. We have 27 playables right now. Bonfire's probably not making the cut. I don't think we're in Oblivion Stone deck. i just rather have the decks you're fixing. Man, Flame Slash is actually just fine for us. I'm okay with that. I don't see us playing Exquisite Firecraft. That seems a bit weird. I like a Braid a lot here. That's pretty good. Gives us an extra way to deal with artifacts. I also like Gaunti and Force Spike, funny enough. RPG Badger, where are you at? Australia? I like Gaunti a lot, but I don't want the double black, to be honest with you. I'll take the Abraid. Lava Claw reaches. Man, oh man. Sure. I don't actually hate Outpost Siege here. Not like we need any more playables. Wow, Stagger Shock and... Oh, Electrolyze, definitely. I will actually play Electrolyze. 100%. Upheaval, sure. We can take out the Manic Vandal in the main deck now that we have a braid, which is nice. Look at these red cards in the sideboard. Stoke the Flames, Manic Vandal, Imperial Recruiter, Kikijiki, and Splinter Twin. Outpost Siege, Flame Slash, Exquisite Firecraft. The sideboard be stacked. I'm going to take out the Negate. I love having it. Yeah, it sucks having Splinter Twin and Kikijiki and not getting any of the combo pieces. We have so many fixing lands. I'm so I'm so thrilled. Probably cut the read the bones. Actually, here are the cards I'm, I'm suspect on. Read the bones, Elder Deep Fiend. Old Man of the Sea. I think that's it. If read is good, especially with Jitte. Yeah, I'm not a big old man fan, to be honest with you. Which is a weird thing to say. That's a weird sentence that just came out of my mouth. Read the Bones is actually not terrible. I imagine this guy's going to cost four. Zaxor, 
Have a good afternoon, buddy. Negate over read the bones could be a, a definite consideration. I also like the idea of sacrificing Phoenix. That was definitely a consideration. Bola seems too hard to cast? Really? We have Bloodstained Mire, Dragon Skull, Drawn Catacomb, Lava Claw Reaches, Scalding Tarn. I don't know if Scalding Tarn gets anything, but I mean, like, I think I think on eight on turn eight we should definitely have two black. I don't think that's going to be a consideration. This is 12 creatures plus treachery, which is like 13. Yeah, I can see cutting Elder Deep Fiend. I also probably want to cut one of these two dragons. And I'll bring back Read the Bones. I think this is the deck. I like our sideboard a lot, too. Uh, this format regularly gets to 8 mana. Like, this is not a format where you don't get to 8 mana. I, I don't, I, I've never had an issue with that. All right, red sources. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. 5. Bloodstained Mire gets Steam Vent. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Black sources. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... I actually go seven, four. Yeah, this seems good. Uh, we definitely need swamps because we have double black here. This might be one too many though. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, this deck looks sweet. Yeah, if we had, if all our, if all our black spells were single black, um probably wouldn't have any swamps. I don't think we need them, but I'll keep this just because of Read the Bones. What a PS punked. Oh, I hate when they ask. Ah, cringy. I can't stop someone from ghosting, right? So I'm just going to say it. If he wants to look, he wants to look. It is what it is. I hate when they ask. Oh, I hate it. I don't want to tell you because if I say, what if I say no? I can just be like, no, I'm not. Then you're not going to look, right? You probably won't look. But if I say yes, <laughs> okay. See, when people, you can tell people have a certain way about them when they're not going to ghost. At least I'd like to think so. Maybe that's being naive. I don't know. But I would trust, I would trust this guy. I don't want to say no, because like they can just check and then I'm just lying to them. And that doesn't feel good. Oh, give me an island. All right, here we go. Right, I definitely think cube is the weirdest format to, um, to ghost in. Well, I just, I'm not a big fan of lying in general. Like, it just doesn't, I don't know.
part the water veil. Ugh. I don't know. I'm real tempted to rift here. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rift at the end at the end step so they spend the mana next turn. But I will probably just bounce Torch Fiend. Especially because we're going to read the bones and I don't feel like we have a lot of options in terms of like doing other things. Um, oh, let's bottom both of these because boy, that's actually fine. Can we get a four drop though? That'd be nice. Cube is the best format to ghost in terms of like if you really absolutely have to win a game of Magic the Gathering, sure. It's the absolute worst format to draft in terms of spirit of the format because it's literally just all fun. No. Because it's like the fun format where you're like doing ridiculous things and like... Cryptic Command. Well, that's good. To, that's good to know about. That's actually nice because we can pass here. And then play something like Scarab God. And we have so many cards that we don't actually care about drawing a card from the Cryptic Command. I really want to take five here because then we basically die. Yeah, there's also no payout for ghosting a cube draft, right? Like, it's just... Oh, that's good. One. It's just all sadness. Just don't do it, you know? What up, I hope Bob... Oh, what up? I I'm just going to call you Bob's Cleric, because that's so much easier than I hope Bob's Cleric dies. This is a lot of things that they're doing. So we block here, we take one, two, three, four, five. We go to four. I like to think we're not dead. I think we might be dead though. I think we're just gonna board in all the, the cheap removal we have. Um, people occasionally ask me if I'm the real Frank Lepore. It happens often enough that I don't think it's ever going to go away. <laughs> okay, now we're definitely dead. That'll do. All right. Man. So Flame Slash can come in. Firecraft can come in, I guess. Maybe even Bonfire, because they got a bunch of X1s and X2s. That seems good. Take out Part. Take out Read the Bones. Take out Efreet. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, see, he's doing fine. He doesn't have to ghost. There's an there's an MTG Arena player called the real Frank Lepore. That's actually hilarious. I'm pretty sure it's because I have Frank Lepore as my name on Arena. If you made your, your MTGO name not the real Frank Lepore, I would have been so impressed. That's actually hilarious. It's interesting people making their name the real Frank Lepore, because, or like the real Frank Lepore on MTG Arena, because you can't actually communicate, right? There's no talking, right? It's like Hearthstone. Oh, this hand seems very good. We can get a Steam Vents. Unfortunately, we can't get any black blue land 
Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, we also have Nicol Bolas. There's, this is a, there's a black deck as well. So Our opponent is very aggressive, though, so... Oof. Feeling okay about the deck, Team J, bro. Um, I wish we had more early things to do, especially against a deck like this. I think or I think we're good against like mid range or control decks, but I am worried about this more aggressive deck. What up, DJ Gray? I totally did pass a Gonti in the draft. I feel bad about it. Like, I don't ever feel like we're getting seven mana. I feel like we just want to stifle the bleeding. Oh, jet me. Apparently the new season of Jessica Jones comes out on March 8th which is this Thursday, and the new season of Love on Netflix comes out this Friday, both of which are very exciting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. K-Flix, thank you so much, man. I didn't know you could do rip bits. That's pretty funny. Well, I'll be a son of a bit. Yep, new season of Jessica Jones this Thursday. Oh, I don't, I don't have that two mana. That's still pretty good. It didn't go to my face, and we got a blocker out of it. It's still pretty okay. I like how we've got three three draft boys in here. We got three Lords of Luxury in the chat. That's pretty cool. Choose target permanent tap. Uh tap you, untap you. Messanthrope, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Breederuski. This is becoming an official draft boy steam. If you consider that I am also an unofficial draft boy, then this is indeed becoming an official draft boy stream. This is better than Ral Zarek, let's be clear. It's, I wish it was at four. Then we can go shoot three, electrolyze one, one. That'd be good. Could also treachery. Yeah, it's not very good here, though. Oh, they didn't redirect to Ral. Okay. Oh, they just don't care about Ral at all. That's sad. Do we should electrolyze? What do we do here? If they have land zealous conscripts, it's real scary. I think we just got to run this dude out there, kill this guy.
and see what happens I guess don't have zealous conscripts I don't want to go to three no here we go every game every game every game watch they're gonna they're gonna zero and then they're gonna hit zealous conscripts with it you ready That's how you can tell my life is a simulation. How the universe is a simulation. <laughs> oh, just one. All right. To me, they don't even actually... He's not even actually going... He doesn't even care about Ral. Ral is such an unimpressive planeswalker. He's just like, meh. Okay. Oh, no. They have the one card. Oh, God. We can treachery that though. That's pretty. That's pretty gas. I think we actually. I think this turn actually turns the the corner here for us. Huh. I don't feel like we're at a point now where we can actually attack safely, unfortunately. Like, God, I'm really scared of the uh, Zealous Conscripts here. Oh, it looks like we're okay. So five... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, Rabble Master, Bottom. To command. So five, ten, eleven. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We put them to one, we're one mana shy. Wish it made four fours. Why can't you make four fours, Rabble Master? Oh, this is a little scary. We play two swamps because we have Nicol Bolas in our deck. They have one card. We have four mana. Okay. 
I think we're good. I think we did it. I don't think we're going to discard this. No, we couldn't have done that. This would put them to four. Ral would we we wouldn't have had three land untapped. You only have two land untapped, so we wouldn't be able to use Hazard as well. We either untap with Ral to get our third land, or we lightning bolt and have two mana. So we can only do one or the other here. We don't get to do both. One, two, three, four. Can I just sower of one, two, three, four? Can we just sower of temptation, steal this, and still win? I don't think so. I think we have to cryptic tap their team. Bottom. Yep, that'll do. All right, sweet. Wow. Woo. Where are my life gain cards at? Maybe old man's very good. Maybe you're right. I believe you can donate bits to get a neat bit badge. How many badges can you have, I wonder? This hand seems okay. Jitte is actually very relevant here. 100 bits. Oh, it, it replaces your turbo badge. That's pretty sweet. I will keep this hand. Okay, that guy's a little scary. So this is going to be a steam vents. The term ghosting is where you're playing in someone and they're also watching on street. Yeah, that is correct. Nailed it. I don't think our deck can beat a Stromkirk Noble. Which is a very weird thing to say. Unless they start giving me free lands and we hit a Flame Slash. Right on the top. Flame Slash. We didn't hit that Flame Slash. On the bright side, as soon as we start getting uh, getting creatures out here. Oh, missing a land drop. Okay. 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 We can actually still win as a 4-4, which is also not bad. We actually have no real reason to play the Bloodstain Mire here. Like, we take a point, which puts us to 12, which is kind of just worse than not doing that. Also, it's when you haunt a place after you die. <laughs> Fair. So the, the benefit, though, is that we do want a third a third blue source, and we also want to get a land out of our deck. So I'm going to take the one point, and we'll see if it matters. I bet it does. In no way am I under the impression that it won't, but... I'm going to crack this first, because I want to... Uh, I'm going to crack it either way, but if there's a card I want to draw on top... Or they can just give us a free land. Nickel Bolas. Okay. You got it. Yeah, I think we just lost this game. Which is funny, because against any non-aggressive deck, this is a great start. Okay. 
That's not what we want to see. I wish this guy was untapped, but I wish this guy wasn't dead immediately, but you know, here we go. And terrible. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're actually dead on board. All right. That was a good game. We played a Umazawa Jete and a Sower of Temptation. That was good times. Probably should have taken the, uh, the Nicol Bolas out there. Never take out Nicobolus is a strategy that I clearly employ. Sometimes I just don't want to. Like, it's literally a matter of I don't want to do that. Not all magic is about winning the games, guys. Sometimes it's about having a good time on your way there. In Soviet Russia, Nicobolus takes you out. That's true. On Plane of Almond Kit, Nicobolus takes you out. Okay, well, that's... That's nice to know. The sponsor of a reality show about gamers? That sounds... Why did this... Why did this move over? That's really weird. I will keep this hand, though. Brian, that sounds awesome, dude. This hand is also great. I'm not going to apprentice this, dude. It's not happening, buddy. Not happening. It's also take me home tonight, not take me out tonight. Not happening. Mirosevic, or Mirosevic, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Good games. Uh, your deck was a little too fast for me. Um, but, like, that's the cube for you. So, good times. Thank you for not ghosting as well. Appreciated. Uh, nope. Not gonna. Not gonna. Not gonna. You took my Ral Zarek? Why are you the way that you are? Take me home tonight. I don't want a cyclonic rift yourself in library. Black green is a pretty common archetype in this format. Wow, Chad. Wow. Your commitment is real, buddy. We should just electrolyze this guy. We could read the bones, but we're drawing one here anyway and getting back. We're drawing one and drawing Ral Zarek, so that's like drawing two as far as I'm concerned. Oh, I was definitely not laughing when you drew conscripts. I was crying. It was close, though. I was terrified of it in game, game two. I was like, here we go. They're going to have conscripts. Here we go. Did they not draw any cards? Wow. Well, we're going to electrolyze this guy and get our thing back. Or try to anyway, right? Who knows if they have black counterspell. I don't think there's a card in the cube that actually prevents this from happening. I don't know. I don't think there's any pump spells.
That is a dude, isn't it? Well. Who boy. We could rowl just to do nothing. I don't know. Really not a big fan of Serendipity but Freed here. Take me home tonight. Our opponent is currently 0-2. So if we win, our opponent has gone 0-3 with this deck. However, this Thrun is slightly problematic. If we play this guy, we take 5, we go to 13, they take 3. Then we take 5 and go to 8 and they go to 3. Or go to the, they take 3. Or we can just read them bones. Wow. I don't want either of these at the moment. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Alright, I can get behind that. I'm going to throw this guy in the trash can, though. Maybe they play a good dude. We treachery it. And then we play Ral Zarek, and then we get Frost Titan next turn. If you think we can terminate the Thrun, I have news for you, buddy. We could steal the wolf, then play Ral Zarek, and then not be able to block this guy, and then go to 13, three cards in our deck. How is this real life? Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. Take me home tonight. Yeah, we're probably going to rift the sword. Going to the face, huh? Like, we still have to hit another land in order for Cyclonic Rift to be... We can't We can't actually go to... We can't actually not do this. We can't go to three cards in our deck, otherwise we just lose the game.
Really? Really? So long, part the water rail. Yep. That was actually a good draw, though. Just like Nicol Bolas, be my little baby. Sure. Hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight mana, five, six, seven, eight mana. Oh, we only seven mana, not eight mana. That's worse. Stips are open. Uh, Fajita's comment for Fajita's com com comment command. Fajita's command. Uh, check out the my Twitch profile for information on that stuff. What up, P Bird? Uh, I don't know what to do here. I'm really confused. If we if we drew one land there, that'd be amazing. We could have played Nicol Bolas. Um. Could have destroyed like Sylvan Library and then next turn destroyed. We have we'd have one we're gonna have one card in our deck though, so it's not great. Actually, here's a thing we can do. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's literally what we just figured out. This might give us a lot of blockers. That's not terrible. That's true. If Thrawn just hits us, we're dead. We're definitely blocking that. I think Ral Zarek at this point is more important. And we can steal that if we do hit Nicol Bolas, which is amazing. Oh, come on, dude. Oh. oh my god, one land. We need one land. We could have stolen this. We could have stolen it. Oh, destroy it. Sure, whatever. I don't care. I could care less if I steal it or destroy it. I mean, get rid of it. Hmm. 
Do you guys think we can kill Thrun with a Glorbringer? Is that what you guys are saying? What up, Alan? If you guys are like... Exert the glory bringer to kill the throne. If we had done that, we would have tapped him down with Frost Titan ten turns ago. Yep, we will block, my friend. God, just throwing a glory bringer under the bus. That's a dude, isn't it? Fashion relate to the party. Now we can steal this. Take a million. Okay. Yeah. Actually, we steal this guy, right? Then we can just block. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not looking good. I am not uh, convinced we are alive under any circumstances. But. Ah, I see. Two different things. Okay. Well, that's good. Maybe he'll forget. Interesting. And that'll do. Okay. Sure. Okay. Who? This guy blocks Thrun pretty well, actually. I'm just going to bring this guy in. Take out the Afrit. The Afrit has been a mess every time. Manic Vandal can come in. Grudge? What are you saying, Grudge? That's not even a card. <laughs> Bring in the Grudge. Our deck is actually... I feel like our deck is actually fine against them. They just happen to draw Thrun. Oh, uh, we could have won that game if they didn't just literally kill us that turn. I think Jitte is good in any deck that has creatures in it. That's my thought. I will play first. <laughs> I will keep this hand. Oh, I guess we didn't take anything out. That's cool. As you guys know, I uh, am quite okay playing 41 cards. So, Wow, really? You got it. Yeah, I go to 41 regularly. That's not a that's not a new thing. Uh, we were also at 5, and Thrun was a 6-6. Six, six, so, why would it bring in Imperial Recruiter? Is this a, I can't tell if that's a joke or not.
Never stop swooping. No worries, man. Oh, really? This is what you're going to do with your life? Might as well get rid of this now, I guess. And then we're going to hope to draw red. And then we can play this guy. They're going to take treachery, obviously. Because there's nothing else to take. It's not even a question. There's no way Recruiter stays 240 bucks with the new set, right? Alan, buddy, we get it. They're similar. God. Look at this beautiful chicken. So if I'm having to play Imperial Recruiter in order to get a um, Manic Vandal, it's probably too late. Hmm. Well, our hand's a little awkward at this point, but they could just actually play Sword next turn and hit us with a Sword, so that's pretty sad. I understand I have targets for an Imperial Recruiter, but there's nothing in my deck I want to take out for a 1-1 for three mana that searches for other tiny creatures. That is not I don't I don't think you have that kind of time in this format. You get smuggler's copter? Sure. Well, I guess we are not attacking anymore, because I don't really want to get smuggled on. Actually, I guess we still are. Oh, getting a crew on. All right. What up, Michael Barbably Boo? It's your boy. All right, so we get a, an O one here. Pretty sure we're just going to keep a swamp tap down. You got it. Hey, that's pretty good. So if we hit a land, we're closer to Nicol Bolas. If we hit anything else, we can pretty much cast it. So I will not block with my elemental, my chicken elemental. Oh, boy. God, do I kill these two or do I just kill this one? We got some serious decisions to make here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, RDM? Heh, everybody wins. Heh. Chicken doing some hard work here, guys. You got it. What's up, Josh? I actually do like the, the red and blue elemental blast a lot. They look great. Sure. All right, you got two turns left, and we got a cryptic command, so that negates one of your turns, I would imagine. Do I want to do a box opening for Masters 25? I mean... I'm laughing because I know what you're getting at, I think. 
I would love to do a box opening, but it was not in my, it was not part of my budget, let's say, so. I don't care about your wood elves. Yorkshire bloke, thanks for, thanks, thanks for saying so, buddy. Appreciate it. You are probably also a cool dude. Open half a pack is my budget. And not the rare half, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this is never happening. Uh, counter a spell, draw a card. I will not block this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God, I, I almost almost want the seven mana nickel bullets just because I can cast him easier. Like just because he's coming down quicker. I don't think we can steal their I don't think we can do that. I think we should have stolen their wood elves just to show just to teach them a lesson. Here we go. Really? How is this real? How is... How? This is the worst ever because they just treachery our own guy. They nickel bolus and then they kill our own nickel bolus and they run this guy into this. It's the worst thing you could have ever happened. That... This is like the worst Emrakul I've ever had in my life. Happened to me anyway. This is unbelievable. Yeah, we're literally just hoping that they don't do they don't do the right thing. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Oh boy. I'm so uncomfortable. Maybe they run out the timer. Wait, oh my god! Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Well, one down. One correct play down. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they un up. Oh, they have like okay, maybe they untap incorrectly because untapping is hard. Uh, like the the untap system in Magic Online is super difficult. So maybe they untap incorrectly, and um, <laughs> just want to vomit. <laughs> oh God. Yep, literally exact. That was like the best Emrakul they could have ever had. Hey guys, on the bright side, we get a turn. You ready? We get a turn. Here we go. Oh my god, can we draw Ral Zarek? They're at three life. Cyclonic Rift, Ral's Eric. Come on, give me something here. This guy has haste.
if we drew this, we could have actually went to this guy and to Elder Deep Fiend, tap your board and probably kill you. Or we could have just went Glorybringer, kill you. To ignore a draft voice, sweet Sean John control deck on stream. Tried to show Frank that sweet brew, but he's ghosting me. <laughs> oh, Lord. I definitely felt like this deck was better than an O2. So maybe we need to fix the thing. Maybe we need to flame slash in here instead of like Serendipity Freak because that guy's terrible. God, everything else seems fine. I can't even with this right now. This is unbelievable to me. Wow, that was just amazing. Hey, buddy. Here's a treachery and a nickel bolus in my hand. What's that you say? You got perfect mana? And nickel bolus can kill himself? Okay. If my face looks a little moist right now, it's because those are actual tears rolling down my cheek. I'm like the Native American when you litter on the side of the road. <sighs> All right, we're in it for the 40 play points, boys. I will play first. Sure. You know what? Sure. It's probably Island there. Like, you can make an argument for playing Island first. I think it's a very good one because then you get to, if you draw Sulphur Falls, it lets you play Flame Slash on turn two. But... On the bright side, we do have all the mana we need for Cryptic Command, so that's good. And by I, by mana, I mean colors. This draft was hilarious to watch, but not for me. That is the perfect way to describe it. I will. That is the perfect way. To, this is a funny draft, but not from your perspective, I imagine. No, I agree with you completely. That is a great description. You got it. There you go. We'll put this in the graveyard for you. There you go. I'm helping. I'm helping. I see. Red. Red. Six. Four. Okay. Okay. Like you do. Oh, I see. They got a Scarab God. How nice. Ooh, 
why ditch command? I don't I don't think you understand how collective brutality works. Must be nice. <laughs> okay. Actually, they would have taken that, that, and that. And we would have drawn Consecrated Sphinx. Okay. Good to know. So, Coalition Relic will bring this guy. And we'll take out the Jitte because you guys don't like Jitte in this deck. That's fine. Whatever. Didn't we have a Negate? Oh, Negate's in the main deck. Alright, that's cool. I think that's fine. I don't actually... <sighs> yeah, Damov, we didn't choose to discard Cryptic Command. I was just making it look like we did. Because that was obviously what they were going to take, so I just kept dragging to the graveyard. Like, as a joke. So, listening to your streams and constantly hearing you tell people that they don't know how cards work, it's glory. Well, people are like, glory bringer the Thrun. Terminate the Thrun. Don't discard Cryptic Command. And I'm just like, none of these things work the way you think they work. I do not think that means what you think it means. My head hurts from slamming it on the desk. Is that normal? Should I see my physician? I'm pretty sure. Why do we want recruiter? What does recruiter get? Recruiter gets um, Vandal, Rabble Master, Sower. We just got a swamp with this idiot. That's sad. Oh, uh, we put one too many swamps in the deck and then we took one out. So that's what, that's why the swamp is in the sideboard. Firecraft is terrible against Ashiok because Ashiok immediately goes to five. So then, like, I'm paying three mana to put them to one. And we don't have the pressure to finish Ashiok off. So it just goes back right up to three. And then we're just like, all right, well, we're a little, a little, a little less far behind. But, like... It's being the, the 998th person in a thousand man race. You're not you're not the the last person in the race, but you're certainly not that much closer. Hey, look, a little cutie. Bonfire can be directed at Ashiok, yeah, but boy, we gotta time it real well. Like we have to have on turn three, Ashiok is already at five. So, like, there's really very few points where Ashiok is actually uh, going to be threatened by a bonfire. Hey, we got a 1-1 out of it. That's a good deal. How do I kill that without throwing my children into it? Oh, well, I guess we're not going to have that happen this turn. I will take any lands that you give me. Terminate Island. I guess that's good. A cutie that makes cuties. Oh, wow. Did you hear that toilet seat just fall? Like, out of nowhere? I mean, if you want to trade here, we'll keep two 1-1s. One we'll trade. I'm, I'm in. This may have been the most come on dude stream I've seen of yours. I agree with you. I just told my opponent it's a cutie that makes other cuties. I wonder if I wonder if that's a weird thing to say to your random opponent. 
Would you call a cutie drafter from a cube a QB? Um. <laughs> I don't know. Long time listener, first time ship poster. Have you tried putting Splinter Twin on Kiki Jiki? I have not, in fact, tried that. But I can see the merit in doing so. Are you currently on the toilet? <laughs> if I was on the toilet, I don't think that would be able to fall as efficiently, right? That'd be awkward because then it would fall and I'd be on it. Where's my fixing? I have literally eight lands that fix and I don't have any of them. And I can't play this guy or 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 this guy. All I have are these two hasty goblins. Kid Sand, what's going on, buddy? Reflecting pool with three swamps. Not where you want to be. Land? Oh, that's a that's the best land we could have asked for. This is the god of Stroms. Oh, we got an island. Island online. Two islands online. Get him. <laughs> Space toilets. I love it. One, two, three, four, five. I guess you just play Phoenix here. And then you can counter with your dismiss. No? Just chickens on deck? Chickens on deck. I play, Gris I play Gristle Brand in paper tournaments. And I'm having I hate loving the current meta. Has MTG seen the change? The recent bannings. Um, I don't know if it's seen a change, but like the decks that play Jason Bloodbraid are definitely in there. There's tons and tons of results if you guys check the Magic Online deck list page. But I agree that Modern's feels pretty healthy still. Um, and it makes me wonder. Uh, where are all those people who are like, Jace is going to ruin the format? Where are they now, I wonder? Did they crawl back into their Neanderthal caves? Because that's where they... That's where they came from, I think. What did this, what did this do? What were the modes? Draw, draw, draw. Okay. You're at eight. I got a Karanos on board. It's pretty good. I also think Bloodbraid Elf is more impactful than Jace, but no one was crying about Bloodbraid Elf. Oh no, Bloodbraid Elf was not a scary card to these format analysts. These guys who are so so well versed in the in the in the modern metagame. Don't kill my chicken. You killed my chicken. Shoot your brain. Actually, I think we just keep up. I don't even think we need. Eh, yeah, they're dead on board. We'll just we'll just play this idiot. Baby. Yep. 
And by dead on board, I mean Electrolyze kills them. I will pay one. Whoop. That's good to know. They probably should have kept that so that I don't know they have it. Now I gotta play around it. Oh. Never mind then. Spoke too soon. That was the old double get you. Don't be gaining no life. That's my concern. What happened? Nothing? A bunch of tapping and then no tapping? Kapow. Got him. All right, I guess we're good here. Ha! Got him! Is Bone Shredder just bad here? Like, have we seen any creatures that's good against? I don't think so. I think I'd rather just have like Mike Robles. I have not played Fallout the board game. Tell me it's good. Tell me it's good so I can go spend money on a game that I love. <laughs> Old Man of the Sea could be good actually. We can steal their vampire night knock. I like Fire Chicken because it's very resilient and it also uh, only costs four mana instead of five, which is pretty relevant. <laughs> Pernicious dude, you have become one of my favorite friggin' viewers, dude. I am, I am loving it, dude. Where does Cube Draft rank in my favorite formats? It goes uh, Cube Draft and then everything else below it. So I guess high. Oh, hi, Cube Draft. Oh, hi, oh, Mark. Hi, Mark. Uh, and also, to answer your question, I don't want to be rude. My The color of my energy, I, I think, would be amber. Or if we're going with the uh, the popular Cameron, Cameron Crowe movie, Almost Famous, my aura is purple. That's uh, that's also an option. Cube used to be my favorite form for Jerko move. Some Jerko moved to Alligator Town. Wow, I feel like that's a veiled. Uh, reference toward me but there's no way that's true right Chris can we cube while I'm there we'll have to get a cube together and I'll have to find a time to visit you but once that happens we can we should make that happen that sounds like a good time I'm just gonna terminate this guy he deserves it
<laughs> oh my god guys okay so i guess i guess the consensus here is that i just need to move back to seattle that feels like the uh A colorless cube? That sounds crazy. What a time to be alive. Oh, they have days and four spike. This guy doesn't resolve ever. He's just getting spiked. <gasps> he resolved! Crap addle. That's what you call it? Crap addle? Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's nice if you can afford it. Spoiler, you cannot. Okay, that's fair. Warm carotchal area. Yeah, there's definitely a difference between barely being able to afford Seattle and easily being able to afford Seattle. Oh, that's a good dude, but what are the odds he resolves? Zero! Go, little cutie, go! God, do we just run Sphinx out there? Black, black, blue, 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 red. I feel like we just got a red here. God, he's doing such a good job. You're doing so good, little buddy. I feel like we can wait. We're just waiting. We're going to read them bones like the skeletons. Bottom, top, Ponderuski. Little cutie that could. That's the name of my autobiography. Wow. So you aren't falling for my trap of not casting these spells in anticipation of what that five mana is going to do? Uh, I'm going to keep all of these. You, you, and then you. Untap little blocky. I guess we could have untapped a land for rift. Here comes the Grave Titan. Oh, old Frosty. Well, that's a thing. That's a gentleman. I was going to start a podcast about uh, 
about relationships in real life and things like that and call it frankly speaking and it's just going to be a real podcast like a real one like as in like real it would have been real talk like Oh boy, that's what that's what I was saying. Hey, that's pretty good. Hope you like guards. <laughs> boy, do I. Put them in my hand. Oh, that's a good one. These are all good ones. Oh god. Oh boy. Well, this is awkward. So I can steal this guy and get my thing back, right? <gasps> oh, this is much different. I lost one. Oh, God. They, they take three extra turns after this. I guess we lose the game. I don't even... <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, this is definitely a cube lesson, isn't it, guys? I, um... Oh, dear God. This is probably the most perfect 03 I've ever experienced in a cube draft. Yeah. Just stop. Just stop it. Stop. No. Just stop it. Ah. <sighs> All right, we're out. Oh, thank you. Ten play points. Thank you guys for watching this one. Really appreciate it. At least, at the very least, it was fun. Um, and we'll see you next time. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, do it for Harambe, if not for me. He, he did die for our sins. So uh, I'll see you guys next time.